Welcome viewers, this is Winshear. Yes, you're about to see highlights from a 67 kill streak here in Plant Side 2. An amazing score, even as the game says itself. This is PlayStation 4 gameplay, Plant Side 2. Before I jump into the gameplay, um, let's talk about how you can even get this opportunity. This is one of the great things about playing on console. I was running uh, just here on the battlefield on Plant Side 2. I started to see some air support from above and uh, from the Liberator above me. And uh, one of the great things about the interface here on the console is you can just hold R1 on any person or any object and uh, view the profile for that player and send them a friend request. And like most people uh, here, they're quick to receive that request. And I sent a shout out to this guy. I said, hey, I want to hop in there with you. I made a party chat. Beam is his name, 104, and uh, he goes by Cow 104 here in Plant Side 2. And he's like, yeah man, hop in, let's go. And uh, I run in this Liberator for this gameplay you're about to see. And we, the last two days, we've been having a heck of a lot of fun playing with each other. Uh, getting huge score streaks. I mean, 40, 50, 60 kills all day long because as a team, and what's the great thing about Plant Side, if you work well with your team, if you have communication, and you can do some big work in this game and be a huge force to contend with. So that was me getting introduced to him. And this is a vehicle we're going to hop in here. The Liberator, think of it as an AC-130 gunship uh, in the games you played before. Call of Duty, Battlefield. Uh, what I'm doing here is kind of getting a bearing of where we want to go. Uh, I'm the squad leader here, so I'm, I'm setting uh, squad waypoints and such. Uh, to help give him direction of where to go because as a pilot you want to focus on flying the, the vehicle which is what he does and then I'm going to get in the uh, the big turret that he has unlocked here there's basically this is a three position aircraft here where a gunner seats on the tail turret they're primarily there for anti-air deterrence and to me in the center turret is a big cannon that you see sticking out the rear end of the vehicle there is like the 105 millimeter cannon there and there are different variants of this cannon as well we've seen other liberators rolling around with almost like cluster bomb type mu mu munitions sorry if i can talk here uh, but uh, lots of pop possibilities and opportunities with this this vehicle's loadout and also the biggest thing that you see is that he has flare vision on this that allows me to see heat signatures and vehicle signatures any time, day or night, which is very important. The only difficult aspect I have, and here we are flying up the canyon to this objective, this waypoint I've set. The only difficult thing I have sometimes is distinguishing friend from foe, but you can kind of get a feel for it. So look at that. Dozens of enemies right in front of me. This is what you want to see, and unfortunately I was still on my map trying to get out of that to get back to this, and by then a lot of them has, have scattered because you see this thing coming and people scatter. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is help defend this institution from enemy uh, opposition. And they are they are sieging this strongly. There's lots of big trees. This is the Hassan continent here on, on the plant side. Um, and so we're kind of using this tree for a little bit of cover here. There's a lot of ground threats out here. And what you'll see me do is just try to eliminate the highest priority threats, which are usually the heavy infantry that are shooting rockets at us, which is kind of a hindrance to them too because... I can, it kind of gives away their position whenever I see this big stream of uh, smoke coming up from the ground from the SAM turret kind of thing it almost looks like. So it allows me to kind of see what's hitting us. See, you can see how clearly that comes by. He just missed us so I know he's right, right by that tree and I go in to finish him off. So that's kind of the tactic I use. I mean it kind of works a big disadvantage for the ground if it tree there. But uh, again, that's one of the balancing aspects of this game is that uh, they don't want to make any specific target too powerful uh, they've done a good job of balancing classes and uh, loadouts here in this game now uh, don't think that you're just always invulnerable in this aircraft there's lots of ground threats uh, just a couple of those rockets if they connect there's also ones that lock on to you as well if just a couple of those connect to you uh, you're going out of the sky in a hurry there's also of course air targets out here chasing us down uh, there's uh, the biggest threat usually is uh, any kind of defensive turret uh, from a ground-to-air turret uh, perspective. So those things are big threat as well. So you kind of have to mitigate your threats and be conscientious of what's going on around you here. Communication is vital. I apologize for not having any squad comms here. I mean, that's not really the focus of my channel. It's not live streams or squad comms. I'm always here to kind of give you guys tips and make you aware of what's going on out there. If you're new to plant side like I am, this is something that you want to be very aware of, is this vehicle, because uh, this is a game changer. So many times we would swoop in and save a base from getting taken or help 
uh, save what would be a failed siege on an enemy base and turn that favor, uh, the defensive, uh, eliminate the defenses of the of the defenders and help our uh, team go on the offensive and overcome those defenses. So whenever you're out of ammo, you can land on these pads. That's kind of what we're doing right here and re resupplying our ammo. And then you can go from there. That's another neat thing about plant size that's unique to it. Unlike games like Battlefield and such, you do run out of ammo in this game. It's forced you to retreat back to the base, so a vehicle with um, like this just can't just hover over the battlefield for endless amounts of time with endless ammunition. That's like the realistic aspect I do like of it as well. There you see it's my first grief point right there. I was doing pretty good today with avoiding those those hits. Uh, but as you can see, this has... Look, look at this moment right here. This is what I'm talking about on plant side. I mean, look at this. We just defended this base. All our friendlies are now on top of the platform. Look at all these vehicles coming out here, moving to the next sector. All the ground-to-ground -ground combat right here, and we're going to help su supplement this ground siege from the east to the west, moving into uh, Mastata Genetics Lab here. And look at all the ground support equipment we have. I'm making a squad waypoint here. And we're moving up here. This poor lonely tank doesn't even know what's about to hit him as we're just laying waste to him from the air. And he is just getting hit by probably a dozen ground vehicles surging up into this. Look at the two stunners coming out here, the respawn deployment bases. Look at these tanks just enveloping him right here. I mean, this is Battlefield at its finest right here, guys. I mean, this, this kind of gameplay is just epic and to be a part of this and be in a third you know kind of a outside the battlefield perspective here almost this is a bird's eye view but having a direct impact just took out a scythe right there from a gunner's perspective i'm gonna take out this uh this defense turret here a moment after we take out the sunder because i always prioritize sunders over everything else now i'm gonna give them some support there um, we're taking out a law of fire right here so we're gonna pull back here in a moment uh, resupply, reheal, and then I cut this part out, but I come right back to the base and we're right back in the action here to, again, just help foster the uh, the siege of this. This is a difficult, uh, these genetic labs are difficult to capture. They have a lot of base turrets, they have air support, they have ground support, they have an elevated uh, advantage as well. They can spawn ground vehicles, they have uh, wall features, so they're very hardened facilities, very difficult to to capture but uh, coming back here again with their support uh, this is what you need and supplement and that's the thing in combination with ground troops with infantry with ground vehicles with their support you know that the three trifecta effect of attacking a facility is just will overwhelm just about anything if it's all in cohesion and it's just me and him in a squad my ad there's no more guys we're in communication with just two guys are able to make this much of a dramatic effect and change on this this assault. Uh, just hitting battle rank 20 here, getting lots of experience there. You can see a rocket. Look at that one rocket took half our health, and he's got this thing ranked up pretty good. So we know when to pull back. I'm trying to uh, call out, and usually when I see a, a turret hit there, I usually can take him out pretty quick. Look, the scythe just spawned out, and I'm going to take this thing out with my gunner thing before his speed gets up, because once these things get going, they're really hard to hit take him out again that's it for that we pretty much capture that position and uh, we're gonna move on to another sector now this is a really long video here guys so don't, don't expect me to run the commentary through then i'll throw in uh, if you want to watch it some good gameplay through the end i'll show you that whole pretty much highlights that 67 kill streak i'll put some sidewise music in there that's a local band here the band i know uh, that's a Kansas City band here um, so i think they're playing at Rockfest this year they're getting pretty big so i'll, I'll put them in at the end and you can watch the gameplay with some music. But quickly, I want to talk about just plant side in general. Um, one thing I'm encouraging my viewers to do is get a membership at least. And it's a small investment to pay. It's only like $10 a month. And you can buy three months if you want. Uh, so 30 bucks, okay? Now, a lot of people seem to be making a big deal about that. And I want to just spend a moment to kind of discussing that topic because... Um, the last game that burnt me was Battlefield Hardline. I dropped $80 on that game. I absolutely hate it. Within a couple weeks, I ended up deleting it. So $80 was just gone. It's just gone forever, you know? Whereas with a game like this, Plant Side 2, it's free. You can download it, and you don't have to spend a dollar on this game if you don't want to. But there's a lot of arguments going on. I've heard people kind of criticize, well, it's, it's pay to play. It's pay to win. That's really not the case. Um, the argument could be that it's pay to win, but that would be a really big... Uh, investment financially. I just don't see many people out there dropping that kind of money. Now, I just bought 5,000 station cash. That was 40 bucks uh, in addition to the fit, the $30 I spent on the membership. So, all in all, I got about $70 uh, invested in the game. 
that's right in line with what I've spent with other games before, and um, I still cannot really buy that much with 5,000 station cash. I mean, one gun alone is about 1,000. So just a couple guns and some attachments, a sight, a grip, all that, if you want to bypass experience requisites, uh, which we're getting a lot of experience here, may I add, um, if you want to bypass that and just purchase a gun, you're not going to get a whole lot for your money because they, they don't want to allow you just to go in and buy everything with a small investment. See what I'm saying? Now, the other side of it, it is free to play, but if you want to avoid these long 800-man deep queues right now that you're seeing on the like the Genudine server, if you buy a membership, you go straight from a public side because those, those are all the public players, the ones that are just free to play players that are not paying anything in the game. You're in a public queue, that's why it's 800 deep. But if you pay $10, you'll get a membership for 30 days and you will bypass all that public queue and you'll go into the membership queue and you go straight into the game. There's no waiting. You also get experience buffs as well uh, and, and several other items I can't name everything off the top of my head. So what I'm trying to say here is you at least get to try this game. You see there's a lot of meat on the bones with this game, a lot of content. You know it's running good now. Uh, it has some server issues at first. Uh, so for $10 you get to experience a game whereas you know so many times before where you buy a game off the shelf you don't get to try it out and it ends up burning you. So I think just take a moment to think about you know the commitment. You, I'm not saying you have to go do it but that's just my advice. I think it's worth investment. I've been very pleased with my uh, investing into this game so far. I mean the content's been great. Gameplay like this has just been so much fun. Meeting new people. I mean, look at us roll up here. I mean, this is about to be a world of pain here for this team. So we're coming up on this base. I mean, big kill streaks. It's lots of fun. This is this is stuff I remember that I really liked about first-person shooters in the past. The AC-130 from Modern Warfare 2. I even liked it in Battlefield 4, even though people really kind of hated it. But you know, unlike those games, you have direct control of the quote AC-130. That's why I keep calling this Liberator. Uh, but we have a pilot that's flying this thing. He's got a set of rockets as well. We have a gunner in the back to help with the air-to-air -air threats, which I've taken out some here in this gunner seat before. You can upgrade this. You can upgrade everything about this vehicle. It's so different than a lot than a lot of those games um, that you've seen before with vehicle gameplay like this. And the visuals in this game, I think, are pretty impressive. Uh, just the scale, the scope of this game, uh, these big trees, I mean, just every continent having a different feel, the desert continent, the snow continent, you know, Marish, which is kind of like a hilly continent, and this is Hassan, which is almost like a swamp-like planet, um, but you can see sunlight coming through these trees a lot of times, zip a tree, and uh, it just, it looks good. I mean, I'm saying it's the best looking game in the world. The frame rate's a consideration here on console. Uh, but one thing I want to mention too is the PC community has been very receptive and encouraging and, and help fostering the community here at PlayStation 4's launch. So they realized that they, the game could use some more, some more um, a fresh uh, injection of uh, interest in players and, and that's seen a, a home and place here on the PlayStation 4. It's been quite successful. Uh, even though the learning curve is steep, that's what I'm here for. I'm trying to help you guys through some of this stuff try to show you just one of the most important things of, of the game and that was just adding somebody as a friend. Next thing you do is you get them in a squad. You know, the first thing you gotta do is exit out your squad and then just send them a friend request or a squad invite depending who wants to be the squad leader and add them in via their name in the squad request uh, window and then they swipe on their touchpad to bring you in. I'll probably make a video about that just detailing that aspect of it just so it's a little more clear uh, but it's getting to be better, uh, and it's not as big of a hindrance now uh, compared to uh, when we first entered the game. So I'm still learning the game myself. I'm still really enjoying the game. And, uh, I mean, I really enjoyed the gameplay just from the infantry perspective. And it's really fresh to get in here in a different, unique perspective here in air, -to -air vehicles like this. Because uh, I really like this. And there's still the big Galaxy vehicle, which is about twice the size of this vehicle. I'd like to try to some gameplay out with that and get a bigger squad in with that go from point to point flying that thing around uh, they're definitely I can keep doing this stuff all day long I mean I just love this kind of gameplay uh, as these guys foolishly try to shoot small arms fire at this vehicle small arms at fire will do absolutely nothing this vehicle by the way guys the only thing you the only way you'll be able to damage this is with like a uh, a bolt action uh, type of uh, weapon uh, anti-vehicle weapon or uh, obviously the uh, the uh, rockets uh, so Please uh, let me know what you guys think about the gameplay here. I'm trying to upload more gameplay. It's all subject to my work schedule. Uh, I'll be out of town here next few days, so this will be the last upload I have for a little while. Thanks again, Bean, for your help. Uh, I have, hope to have more gameplay with him as well. Just have a blast doing this kind of stuff. Uh, 
Um, as you guys probably know on the channel, I, I go with what I play, and uh, right now I'm focusing on this and uh, Destiny. Um, and I will probably have more Destiny content to come. I'm just uh, right now I'm kind of in the middle of plant side because it's just been launched. Uh, but lots of fun here, guys. I really strongly encourage you guys at least try the membership on this. And uh, I'm going to let the, the remainder of the gameplay um, go out with some uh, nice little sidewise music again. Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description if I can remember to uh, of their uh, music. They're on Google Plus. Uh, not Google Plus, I'm sorry. They're on uh, Google Music and iTunes as well. Sidewise is the name of the band. Pick up quite a bit of steam. They're a hard rock kind of band here in, uh, in Kansas City. So I'll let the gameplay finish out with them. And uh, I appreciate your guys' support. And I will see you guys on the battlefield. And watch out. Death from above. The Liberator is keeping its eye on you. Thanks again.